Hey everyone, today we are talking email marketing strategies that work and how you can implement them into your 2023 digital marketing strategy. Now I'm Amy, I am a 20 plus year digital marketing veteran and what I do is, is I help you make more money from your digital channels. One of the number one questions I get asked by clients is, is email marketing still relevant in today's digital age? And I always say yes but you have to be smart about how you're doing your email marketing. Gone are the days of spanning people's inboxes with just offers and promotions. We have to be smart about how we're delivering our information to the consumer and we have to know what it is that they want. So with that in mind, we are gonna go over five things that you should implement in 2023 that will help you sell more via your email marketing. The first thing you need is a good entry point for your potential customers or your already existing customers to come into your email marketing system and into your campaigns. Now, a lot of people call this a lead magnet and yes, you need a good lead magnet to start to generate people onto your email lists. Now, what is a lead magnet? A lead magnet is something that your potential customer would want. It's some type of download, it's some type of gated video. It is a piece of content that is valuable to them that they would be willing to give up a piece of their information in order to get it. After you figure out what your lead magnet is, the next thing you need to think about is delivery of that lead magnet. Now, a lot of people right now, what they're doing is, is they just bounce the person to a page that then opens up the lead magnet in a separate browser window. A better way to do this that actually ups your email score and ups your trust within those email service providers is to actually email that recipient the lead magnet instead of just automatically opening a browser for them. So what this does is, is it shows the email service provider if they open it right away, that you are a good sender that you want to hear from this person. So the next time you send them an email, you have a higher chance of not showing up in their spam folder. Now that you know how you want to deliver this lead magnet, you want to make sure that you automate this process. Automation is key. You don't want there to be any delay between when they give you your information and then when they receive that information. So you have to make sure that after they give you your information, there is only a one to two minute delay at the most between when that information was entered and when they receive their information. So keep that in mind. Automation is key. Now, you want to make sure that you have something automated on the back end after that lead magnet is sent out because you don't want that to be your last point of communication with that potential customer. You wanna make sure that you have other information that goes along with that lead magnet that you just sent them that you can walk them through over the next few days or the next couple of weeks. Now, this brings us to content. You want to make sure that the content that you are sending them is not just sales content. You want to give them things that will help them on their journey, that showcases that you understand what you're talking about and that you can help them. It's all about giving them knowledge at this point in their journey. It's not about selling to them. If they want something from you, they will go and seek it out on your website. Right now, you're just trying to build a relationship. So the content that you should be sending them after that lead magnet is things that will increase their knowledge about the subject that they are interested in. The other quick tip that I can give you is is you wanna ask questions within the emails that you are sending because if you can get that potential customer to respond to you via that email that you sent, then you have a 100% more chance of always showing up in their primary inbox. It's all about showing the email service provider that you are a trusted source to this person, that you are not someone who is spamming, that you're not just some large company. If you can show that you actually have a relationship with this potential customer, Customer, then you are always more likely to show up in that primary inbox when you are sending those emails. So try to ask the customer a question that they can then respond to so that you can start to build that relationship. So we've already talked about content and what content you should be sending them and how it shouldn't be sales, deals, and promotions. It should be content that will help them gain more knowledge so that they can progress on that buyer's journey to purchase. Now, with that in mind, you need to think about the layout of your 
your email. Now, a lot of people think that slick looking graphic emails are the way to go because that's going to make you look the most professional. But if you are a small business, the best thing that you can do is do plain text emails. Now, why is that? Because plain text emails are more likely to show up in the primary folder of the inbox because they have less graphics. The more graphics you have, the more likely you are to show up in that promotions folder if you haven't already built that relationship with that potential customer. So having a plain text email that just gives the information with a few links in it in the text is much safer to use than using a fancy, really pretty looking graphic email. So keep that in mind. You want to make sure you keep it simple and you make it look like you are building a relationship. This should look like an email that you would send to a friend. So when you're sending an email to a friend, do you usually put a whole bunch of pictures in it? Probably not. So as you're building your email, keep that in mind. Is this something that I would send to someone that I know personally? So let's review real quick the five things that you need to implement in 2023 to have a great email marketing strategy. Number one, you need a great lead magnet. Number two, you need to automate the delivery of that lead magnet and all the subsequent campaigns that follow it. Number three, you need to start asking questions within your emails so that your potential customers can respond back to you to increase your email score. Number four, you need great content. Don't just sell and send offers. You need to give people knowledge to push them along in their buyer's journey. And then number five, you need to make sure that you have plain text emails. Remember, content is king, but graphics are not always great. I hope you gained a little bit more knowledge today about email marketing strategies that you should implement in 2023 to gain more sales. If you like this video and you want more, please hit the like and subscribe button. I thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.